it's really quite uh, incredible and impressive of a fruit, which is why I kind of, you know, I'm so passionate about this. Another thing you'll mention here, I want to mention is the, the texture of the fig. And the texture of the fig can be very easily depicted by the nectar. The nectar makes them either very juicy, maybe they can seem on the drier side, uh, but also the flowers, the female flower parts, because this is what a fig is. It's an inverted flower. So within the fig is all these different female flower parts, because this is a female fig, right? Common figs, Smyrna types, San Pedro types are all females. Um, the capra figs are the males, but within the, the female flowers, you have these little things called acnes. And you can see them, they're these white, pieces here, um, these white little strands that almost kind of look like uh, like worms almost, or almost larva of SWD, spotted wing drosophilia. So they kind of can weird people out uh, visually. Um, but these little things here really determine the texture of the fig. Depending on how many of them there are and the size of them, will determine the texture. So if there's a lot of these acnes is what they call, they're called, these female flower parts. If there's a lot of them, you end up getting a lot of mouth feel in the fig. You get a lot of texture. The fig will seem like it's meaty, right? It maybe uh, has more striations to it, like a piece of meat does. Um, whereas if it's very few in number, these acnes, and they're maybe a bit smaller, you end up getting something that's very close to the consistency of jam. And jam is, as I said, it's like you can imagine jam. It's very solid, it's very smooth, it's very thick. Um, it's not necessarily a jelly, although some figs can be jelly-like in texture. But you end up getting something that is really just like eating a piece of jam and putting, on, putting it on some toast. That to me is really, what I look for in a fig. I don't look for the very meaty varieties. I want a fig that really well resembles jam. And to me, it's some of the best jam that nature can create. Um, not only that, but it's wrapped in like the perfect cracker, which is the skin, which is the synconium of the fig, uh, where the, the jam is basically housed. It's like basically the best version to put it very simply, the best version of jam on toast is really what I think of as a fig. Um, so some people, unfortunately, don't like the very soft texture to figs. So I would play around with the level of ripeness, the variety. You may find a texture of a particular fig that you like more. Maybe you don't like them as soft as this. I mean, look how, look how easy this thing is to be manipulated. Some people don't like that texture. And it just needs, you need a little bit of time to really get used to that. But let me taste this one here and tell you what I'm, uh, what I'm getting. Man, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Uh, <laughs> man, 